Okay, I'm finally back out here to do some shooting. I know it's been a long time, man. Oof, the, the amount of catastrophic failures I had. Uh, hopefully 23 will be better. But anyway, I'm going to try to do some more shooting. It's beautiful out today. It's like 60 in January. It's supposed to get cold, so as long as the weather stays decent, you know, I'll do, uh, hopefully do some more shooting. So today what we got is going to do just a simple one. I got some hollow points. And I got, I had, some, <laughs> had my house flood, so I had a lot of extra wood left over from uh, rebuilding everything twice. So, I just got some hollow points, uh, I got some guns here, I got a bunch of different kinds of hollow points, and we're just going to see how many, I think these are like eighth inch, or quarter, maybe quarter eight, I think it's eighth, so a little, little in between there, a couple of them are doubled up. So, let's get the guns loaded up and fuck it, see what happens, man. So first up, we're going to be using these uh, 22 uh, long Velocitor. So, they're a gold dot hollow point, and yeah, they work pretty good. Sorry, if the camera don't fall, it's a little sketchy. I'm going to shoot now the good old uh, Rough Rider, man, with a 16 inch barrel. So, this thing's pretty cool. All right. Wow, so yeah, that went through more than I thought it would. It went through what, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. It stopped on a tenth one right there. So. There's the slug. That's pretty cool. So, I mean, 22s, I mean, I'm telling you, they're more deadly than you think. Next up. Okay, next up we're going to do a 9mm. These are the seismic slugs. They're 185 grain 9mm NATO. Uh, they're a savage bullet, man. And then I got some really light, I think 95 grain hollow points. So we're going to see which one does better. Boy, I think it's hit hard. Yeah, there we go. Wow, wow. What, there it is. So, I don't know. I'm not counting. It did pretty good, though. Uh, uh, uh. Here's the slug. There she is. That's pretty cool, man. Didn't deform too much. It held its weight, expanded some. Really penetrated a lot, more than I thought. All right, then we'll do a light, uh, like a thing of 95 grains, hollow point. Okay, next up we've got the, the Super Shot. It's a 80, 85 grain hollow point. So they are very, very lightweight. They're nice to shoot, man. Very, almost no recoil. Let's see what she did there. Stop this camera. And man, these boards are getting muffed up. Okay, so it went just one more than the heavyweight. Huh, that's interesting. I'll dig it out of here. Okay, these are crazy. They're like filled like <laughs> Like foam or something in there. It's probably why they're so lightweight. They don't have a lead core. So, I mean, it didn't really, it kind of blew apart. But it did penetrate more. Heh. They're pretty fast. I forget how fast they are. 1,200 feet a second or something. Anyway, I'm going to flip this around. I got a 10 millimeter and a 45. Okay, next up we got a 10 millimeter. And these are Underwood ammo, 165 grain, 1,400 feet a second. I have a good old Glockazine here. Oof. 
Man, I don't know. 10 millimeter is pretty savage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Let's see here. So, yeah, I had like this. I, I didn't really think they would plow through this many boards that easy. And it, I had like this as like kind of the final backstop. And it went through all of them and stopped on the backstop there. And it sent this flying. So let me see if I can dig that out. Oh yeah, nice and warm yet. So I, I purposely didn't bring any magnums just because I want to do normal calibers. But look at that hollow point. That is like perfect. Held, flared out, and penetrated. You load a 10 millimeter up with some nice hollow points like that from Underwood, man. That's the way to go. They, they, this thing has some serious stopping power. I have some other ones, like 200 grain, and then I have some extreme penetrators. We'll just try them at the end or something. That's pretty neat, so. Alright, so next up is a good old 45, an extended mag, an extended barrel. I just dropped in the mud just for the fuck of it. So anyway, so we got two different ones. We got these, uh, one shot, one precise shot again. They're 150 grain, and they are going fast. Uh, 11, over 1100 feet a second. So I got that and I got some 230 grain hollow points with a tracer. That's, that's the power, man. Yeah. So where did it go? Travel to, oh, there it is. All right, I might leave that one there. Well, she's gonna fall out. So it didn't, oh, that's warm. It didn't really expand much either. Like it had velocity, but it didn't expand. Huh. All right, well, let's try a heavier one. Okay, next up we have, these are made by Streak Ammunition. They have uh, 920 feet a second, which is pretty good for, uh, these are 230 grain jacket hollow point with a tracer in them. And so let's see, I'm popping the mag this time so I'm not a complete retard. Let's see what they do. Probably won't see the tracer, but I get a little bit high. That gun shoots so good with that big barrel, man. It's right where I was aiming. Alright, plow through there. Yeah, I don't see it. I'll do some digging. Might have, might have went a flying. Hey, there's BBs from my last video. Okay, I'll do some digging and then uh, I have my 300 blackout. Somebody wanted to try. Alright, so uh, someone left me a comment when I did my Liberty Ammunition hollow point test. I forgot to bring the box. I think they're 95 grain or something like that. I'll put a thing here to let you know how many grain grainage they are. Uh, let me turn my scope on. Let me turn my scope on here. I dropped this gun about five different times too. Oh, she's on night vision. <laughs> Alright, we'll just try it night vision here. Without the night vision. I couldn't really see that. Couldn't really seem to aim too good on that one because I have a scope set for night vision. But you can switch that one back and forth. It's pretty neat. So I want to. It probably. Uh, oh no, she came out the back. He wanted to know how good it would penetrate like for self-defense in a house. So yeah, it will tear through quite a bit. I was kind of hoping it would stop, but... No, she kept on trucking, man. That's pretty impressive. At them hollow points. And I use that gun for coyotes and different game around here. And let me tell you what, man. Them hollow points 
put down anything you shoot with them. It, it's impressive how powerful they are. People will, like say they're garbage. Not, they're not. I mean, they they devastate crap. Like I said, I, I shot animals with them hunting, and you want to talk about stopping power? They have stopping power. I don't care what anybody says. They, you know. So I just got a couple of extreme penetrators. Let's finish this off, I guess. Okay, I'm 69% sure I forget to, forgot to hit record on that one, but if I did, this is the Underwood Ammo, it's a 140 grain extreme penetrator, 1500 feet a second, uh, they're solid copper, and first shot, it didn't go through all of them, but I couldn't find it, so I kind of turned it around and let's see what happens here. Nice dead center hit. See, I got to shoot so good. I counted the holes in the back, but the back is now missing. So she must have got penetrated to the extreme level. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it might be stuck in there. Yep, she plowed through. So yeah, them extreme penetrators, man. They're one hell of a bullet. All right, so that's it, guys. That's uh, wasn't the best video, but you know, I was just had a couple minutes to spare. <coughs> Hopefully, Sunday we're gonna work on a very good video. We got like 60 tablets or something that need destroyed, so we're gonna take the BMG out and we're gonna destroy these tablets because they need to be destroyed. I guess it's amazing how things work. You can't like sell them or give them to somebody if I could use them. They have to be destroyed, so why not? So that's it. Had some fun. Hopefully I can get back here and do some more videos as soon as possible. It's it's been a horrendous end of the year. You know, Ken Block just died. Oh man. So yeah. Bear with me. Appreciate everybody. Comments and please comment, share, like, subscribe so I can buy some new tires for my Can Am because they're bald and flat, so thanks guys.